last night coming down or in the middle of the night to refeed my fire from my sleeping loft. I've been using that uh, old ladder I built when I first started this cabin build way back, uh, way back when. Anyway, the darn thing almost killed me. So <laughs> done with that. So my project today got changed. I was, I was going to be doing something else, but I decided I'm going to build a proper set of uh, steps to get up and down from my loft. So yeah, I found some old, uh, old hardwood boards. So the, this is sort of a mixture and these are just some old remnants. So they're scab pieces of cherry. There's some walnut. So it's sort of a hodgepodge of things. I'm going to nail this thing together and uh, see if it fits. And then I'll get some oil on it and that, that I'm not falling out of that loft again. <laughs> This uh, kind of looks like a step ladder um, top here, but uh, the reason I put this member on is that's going to sit on my deck. And I'm thinking that the downward pressure will prevent the bottom of the ladder from kicking out, so I won't have to have some kind of a fastening system. I have limited space in the cabin, so I have to be able to take this uh, out, out uh, in the morning so we have living space. So anyway, if uh, my math is correct, my steps should be horizontal, which they will be kind of and hopefully level. So I finished uh, 
the, the latter, but earlier this morning I, I was working on uh, trying to uh, create a reproduction uh, from the, this, this piece would have been in the 1800s. And anybody that's trying to recreate um, or produce things that are authentic for the time period, because finding artifacts from the 1700s is very difficult. 1800s is still hard, but some, somewhat more available. But uh, this particular book is, uh, is a wealth of information. And I'm not certain it's still in print or not. And the author's name is John A. Nielsen. And uh, so basically all the pieces that I've built in the cabin. Uh, so my country silver tray here. Uh, so for, for knives and forks and what have you to go into. And there's a picture of an original one. Um, this one came from New England, um, and it dates to uh, late, late 1700s, actually. And then if we look at this guy over here, we've got a salt box. And if you can sort of see the resemblance. So, so what the author's done here is he's found these antique pieces. This one came from Massachusetts, and it dates um, early 1800s. And one of the more unique pieces is the hanging shelf with doors. And you can kind of see what I've tried to replicate here. So this one, complete with wooden hinges, uh, and a rather unique piece. And it's 1700s, and it came from Peterborough, New Hampshire, the actual piece of Circa. Okay, and a final piece. Um, every, every cabin had a candle box. Uh, sometimes more than one, uh, and in the time period, and this one, uh, this one comes from uh, Pennsylvania, uh, again late te late seventeen hundreds, and the whale tail uh, carving was quite popular in that era. So uh, this again, this author this is John Nielsen. What he does is he actually takes them these original pieces, he scales them out, he gives you the dimensions. And it's pretty simple joinery, and he says projects you can do in a weekend. Well, most of them you can do in a couple of hours, uh, two to three hours. And I try to use rosebud nails. You can make them on the forge to, to give it even a, a better authenticity. So, yeah, those are some things in the cabin that make it look real, like you literally are stepping back in time. Okay, got it oil, all oiled up there, and uh, darn thing looks pretty good. <laughs> kind of looks like a piece of furniture. Anyway, it should work. <laughs> a lot safer getting in and out of the loft now. Uh, I still have to build a fence up here because uh, for those that are perhaps a bit rambunctious in their sleeping habits, I'm not going to have them falling out. But uh, they're certainly not going to fall coming up and down this ladder. Anyway, uh, start, sun's starting to go down. And I'm going to cook a traditional supper again tonight uh, in my reflector oven. I'm going to cook a smoked ham. And I'm going to do a scallop potato recipe. Um, technically, the term scallop potatoes wasn't used until about the mid-1800s. But there is a, a recipe from a French book uh, around 1750 or so that refers to cooking potatoes in cream and cheese. So they just didn't call it scallop potatoes. All right. Uh, Got a bit of a hunger on, so get this ladder out till I have space and bring it back in tonight and I'll be safe. <laughs>